today I thought that I'd do something a little bit different. I recently started watching the new Korean reality show Roommate and I thought I'd do some Tevlin. I've only seen the first two episodes. I'm totally enthralled. Wait, no, I saw the first three episodes. I love it and I want to see more. And looking at it, I can see why. Hey, all you XL fans out there. I know that you guys are all depressed and stuff because Chris left the group and there's huge controversy surrounding XO right now. But look at Chen Yul. Look how cute he is. And he's got amazing guitar skills and fantastic piano skills. And he's got a really nice demeanor. And he's just got such a cute little baby face with his bright red hair and his huge hat collection. And he's adorbs. And look at him. Look at him. He's a lost puppy. He's so adorbs. He just reminds me of like, if I had a younger brother, I would want my younger brother to be like Chen Yul. I don't find him attractive, but I wish he was my younger brother because he's just so cute and so nice. Ah! Moving on. Let's look at some more. Ah! Okay, so this is actually two of my favorite characters in the drama. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. I'm not gonna be able to tell you the names off the bat. You can find them online. You know, Google that, wiki that, you can find it. This guy right here, the older dude that shaved his goatee, I, he's my favorite character. Mind you, I like older men, but he's also, he's just like, I can do it all. And he's just like, he takes charge, and I think that's great. And while half of them are walking around like they're completely and utterly lost, he is in control of himself, and he's pretty easygoing, and he has a motorcycle. All things, three things I like very much. And he's tall, dark, and handsome. Score! And this guy, the comedian, is hilarious. Mind you, he's not particularly attractive, skipping over some of the Korean bits. Oh, there they go. Here they are at the EXO concert. Look! How fun! I just want to like hang out with them and have some beers. Like, they're just fun. Look, he's wearing a fish sweatshirt and jorts. He's wearing jorts! It's, it's cute in a fun way. Like, I, I'm not attracted to it, attracted to it, but I'm just like, I really want to just like hang out and just, they seem like they'd be so much fun to, to like chill with. Uh. It's the chicken. They ordered chicken in one episode and he didn't need it. He was probably just too tired from filming EXO music videos and trying to film this in his late night. Yes, Pak Bom and Lee Dong Hook. Ooh, are they going to be a couple? Are they? Are they? We shall see. Future episodes will tell. Time will tell. Hey, Maggie, you can't step on computer you're distracting me you're distracting okay dad's helping dad ah, ah, ah. okay continuing on ah. okay here we go so this is like it's a cute pup guy that everybody loves you may recognize him from cunning single lady he is adorable so can Jun. he's got such nice eyes he's got really nice eyes Wait, I gotta tell you something. If you haven't watched Roommate, the guy's dirt poor and he's a total airhead. I said it. I said it. I said it. He's still cute. He's still eye candy. But uh, he may not exactly fit your fantasy guy character. And that's another reason why I really like this drama. Look at them. I, I like these two together. Park Bom, Park Bom. She may look at, at, like an alien and have way too much plastic surgery, but she doesn't matter. She can do what she wants, and she's super cute and super fun. And the MMA fighter Song Gayan, she's awesome. She's totally cool, and she's like every once in a while she just kicks some guy's butt just because she can, and I think that's fantastic. Girl power, woo! Um, but what I was saying is that I really like how they kind of show a non- Yes, mind you, they're totally aware that the cameras are on them the whole time. Some of them even interact like Pak Bom with the cameras and 
that's kind of funny. They like put on these little personas like this. She's talking to it. She's making faces. She's like, it's fun. But I think you get to see an inside look into what their life might be like and how though we watch these dramas and I don't know, I think I'm a little biased being American that I think that, oh, people who are celebrities should have big fancy homes and a lot of money and all this stuff. They don't have that. It's not like this in Korea. They work their butts off and they don't make that much. You know, they're not that wealthy. They're not that rich. They're actually a lot more down to earth and normal than I think we take... I, I think that we think, or I think, maybe? And that's another reason why I really like this drama, is I like seeing into what a Korean celebrity's life may be like. Because, especially being in the first season, they haven't had a lot of previous people to do it to reflect upon, and there's kind of this raw attitude edge to it all. And I like it. I think it's great. He's one of my favorite characters also. Also, not the brightest light bulb in the box, but Park min he's got the greatest dimples. And I want to see him in more dramas now that I've seen him on Roommate. Then <laughs> there's Park Bom waking up. Because she is not a morning person, and I can totally relate, though I would not keep a pudding cup under my pillow. Continuing on, because I can't translate all the Korean, and not in this period of time, and there's the whole group of them. They're great crew. They're really fun. Oh, this is him pretending that he can speak English. He's like, yeah, I lived in Malaysia for three years, so I can speak English. But can you speak English beyond the introductory hello level? No! Do I think that's a bad thing? No! But do I think he should be bragging that he can speak English when he can't speak English? No. But look at them. Ah! It's him with X out. I love those guys. I love the two older guys. I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's that I just like older guys or if it's just I really like their personalities, but I really like their personalities. And this was fun. Inside the, inside the 21 van. So I'm gonna finish on this because I wanted to see these two girls, which weren't featured in any of the other photos that we looked at. Um, not really, but you have Nana, and then you have the actress that I can't remember her name right now off the top of my head, and at first I thought that I wasn't going to like them, but I really do. The, the older actress, she's got a whole lot of, like, maturity, and she's willing to jump into things, even if she is boy crazy, like many of us who are into Korean dramas, so I can't blame her at all, but, uh... The girl from Nana is also a lot of fun. And so basically, what I really want to say more than anything is if you haven't checked out Roommate, it's online, it's subbed, and if you want an insight into what a Korean entertainer's life might be like, I think that this is probably the closest we're ever going to see into the life of a Korean entertainer. I think it's fun, I enjoy watching it, and I can't wait to watch the rest of the episodes, at least in episode one. Um, or not episode one, season one! Season one! I want to see it all! I want to see it all. Uh, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, click the like button, and subscribe, you guys! I hope you check this video out! The series out. I can't talk. Bye! Ah! Uh, it's see one Now, if for me, if there's a reason to watch this drama, it's for this guy, Shiwon. He's so cute. Is it Shiwon? Or is that Jeju? That's Jeju. Fail, Stephanie. Fail. That was the other guy. Ugh.